Australia's quarter horse fraternity is about to take a giant leap into the unknown with some controversial new breeding technology. Tamworth breeder Richard Bull has imported a stallion that's one of five clones of America's top sporting quarter horse stallion. The legendary smart little Lena died last year, but thanks to his horse, the super stallion's genes will live on in Australia through his clone son, perhaps appropriately called Salute. The Western horse sport of cutting was developed by American cowboys to find out whose horse had the best cow sense. In the States, cutting's the biggest horse spectator sport after horse racing. The top riders are superstars, the top horses sell for hundreds of thousands of dollars. Australians have really taken to cutting and to the best horse for the job, the American quarter horse known for its intelligence, powerful burst of speed, cow sense and agility. In cutting, riders suss out the mob, pick a cow, cut it out of the mob and then they drop the reins. Their horse does the rest. The aim of the game is to stop the cow returning to its mates. There's nothing better than turning a horse loose and he is trying to do his, to his job which is hold that cow out there and feel the guts and the grit that these horses have got to, to hold that cow out there and just, just bust their gut to do their job for you. It's, a, it's a, just a real thrill. When you're sitting there just trying to hang on because this thing is so athletic cracking underneath you, there's nothing better. A horse with cow sense is worth a lot of money and one of the best ever in the United States was a stallion called Smart Little Lena. He's a legend. He won the American Futurity, and in eight events, he won $750,000, which has only been overtaken just recently as the highest earning cutting horse of all time. He's been the number one sire for years, and he's finally been taken over by one of his uh, grandsons. He's, he's sired the winners of $39 million, which is a lot to win just working cattle. Smart little Lena's genetics were expensive and highly sought after. And now he's dead, you'd think they could only live on in his sons and daughters. Well, you'd be wrong, for Smart little Lena was cloned five times. Tamworth quarter horse breeder Richard Bull was amazed to find out he could actually afford one. Meet chestnut stallion Salute an exact genetic copy of Smart Little Lena and the first cloned horse Australia has ever seen. A lot of people are against it and um, I'm not sure whether I was or I wasn't, but someone else had cloned him and he was available and I'd done a fair bit of research on clones and I was well aware that the male clone breeds identically to the original horse and it was just too big an opportunity to miss to try and get a horse like this. A lot of people are dead against him, but I don't think they realise what he really is. And without seeing him and having known the original horse, who I knew really well, um, it's just unbelievable how much like the original horse he really is. And maybe if he'd been a clone in North America, you wouldn't have wanted him, because there's plenty of sons and daughters. But for Australia, we've only got one daughter of this original horse, because they've always been priced out of the market and there's, there is quite a few sons, which we own one of them, of him. But, um, yeah, I think it's one of the greatest uh, opportunities Australia's had to upgrade their cattle horses. This week, Richard Bull showed salute off to the cutting Cognoscenti, which is in Tamworth for the biggest and richest event of the year, the Futurity. Oh, a lot of people want to see him with this smart little Lena. He's sort of everyone's hero horse. He's, he's a horse that everyone worships and nearly any great horse now is either out of one of his daughters or by a son. Or, and a lot of the better ones are double bred. Smart little learner. But will Salute be able to pass his genes on the way his copy did? Well, I know he's a real deal. And uh, this week he'll be on display at the Futurity for anyone to see. 
and the following week we will break the horse in just to get him more disciplined and but we will not train him.